He's a best-selling author, distinguished staff writer for The New Yorker and top legal analyst on CNN. He is going to do this again. He, want, he, he said he will do it again. And the idea that there Let's is some see. chastening here is absurd. But everything came crashing down for Jeffrey Toobin during a recent Zoom call with his colleagues and bosses, as Whoopi Goldberg explained on The View. He was, well, masturbating. His co-workers have said that Toobin was rubbing and tugging on the Zoom call. Toobin lowered the camera. The people on the call said they could see Toobin touching his penis. Tubin then left the call. Moments later, he called back in, seemingly unaware of what his colleagues had been able to see. Many commentators question how it could possibly happen, including Cynthia Loist on Canadian talk show The Social. Did he plan this? Was he just really bored? Is this a regular thing and this is the first time he was caught? I also happen to wonder, is this a Pavlovian response? Like, is he somebody who regularly engages with sort of online um, self-exploration? And so as soon as like there's a chat window open, it's just like that there's a kind of immediate physical response. It's said that Pennsylvania could use ballot boxes, which the the, parent, uh, the president has been attacking. Sonny um, Hostin on The View also had the, serious the questions. Board. Why would someone show this lack of impulse control? Uh, is this somehow mm -hmm. related to, um, a, is this addictive behavior? Is this related to uh, the, the pandemic? Are we talking about, um, again, an addiction related to these unprecedented times? Meantime, Sarah Haynes couldn't stop laughing. I usually give women a lot of credit for multitasking, but this is a gear switch I, I could leave to only a man. Um, <laughs> this was during an election simulation. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the most, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the most unsexy thing I've ever heard of. Um, and I'm not going to be able to unsee this. I, I very much miss the days when Jennifer went to the bathroom and forgot to turn off her camera. <laughs> the New Yorker immediately suspended Tubin. He also asked for time off from CNN. In a statement, he apologised to his family, friends and work colleagues. I made an embarrassingly stupid mistake believing I was off camera. I believed I was not visible on Zoom. I thought no one on the Zoom call could see me. I thought I had muted the Zoom video. Yeah, I don't understand why no one said, Jeffrey, listen, what you, we can see you. I don't understand why no one had the, the presence of mind to say, dude, do you know everyone can see you? You're not in a business meeting, okay? We don't we don't have a little boardroom meeting and some homeboy beside you just whips out his piece and ha and has a time. It's unprofessional, period. You could, that, that stuff could wait. That stuff could wait. I don't understand why I, I, no one's giving him a bligh. I don't think he deserves a bligh. You are within business hours. Wait until the Zoom call is over. The Jeffrey Tubin incident is just the latest in a long line of Zoom meeting fails we have seen this year. And in reality, I've heard that social work kind of has very high standards and and like like good standards in terms of things, and that oftentimes people don't like people of other professions don't have. The hold on, hold on. <laughs> what happened? And this meditation is great for bringing about a sense of relaxation well-being and calm so starting just quickly by breathing in perhaps one of the worst was daniel martinez that's him top left after asking to leave the meeting he thinks he's turned his camera off and then starts doing a tube consumer spending is up uh, if you look at the graph right below page are we on I'm sorry, we're on page 12, the second graph from the top. Okay. And you'll turn your camera off. All right. So if you look, uh, we're a 0.15% higher than 2019. Uh, we started this quarter off at 2.75%. Holy shit. Uh, oh, Daniel. God. 
I don't think he's Daniel. 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 Call me. Oh my God. Call Daniel on his cell. Call Daniel on his cell. Oh, how, how do we turn this oh, heat off? Wow. We can't. Oh, hell no. Daniel. Oh, my God. <laughs> Daniel is a host. We, holy shit. Rita on Twitter says, masturbation isn't the problem. Rather, the timing of it is. Please remain professional yeah. during your video conference meetings. Even though you might not be in the office while working from home, be warned. You can still be sacked for your behavior on a work Zoom call. Is this, a mis is this the new kind of mistake people will make now because they forget to close the camera or they forget that they, they haven't hung up on the Zoom call? I mean, is this part of the future now? I could relate to it because it easily could happen to me. Not that I sit around naked, I don't, but you know, I don't know how to use the technologies. Sam Rubin from KTLA wondered if Jeffrey Tubin could come back after such an embarrassing mistake. This has received huge headlines all around the world. And the question many people are asking, especially in this climate, can Tubin's career survive? It is one of the fastest and furthest falls one can possibly imagine. Following an investigation, The New Yorker announced this week that it had sacked Tubin. His future at CNN is now also almost certainly over. That you can have an absolutely great career and have that career almost immediately and entirely derailed by a single really stupid act is really chilling. Anyone in front of a computer with a Zoom call pending should have better sense. Yeah. This falls under the category of don't mix business and pleasure. I mean, to say the least, to say the least. <laughs>